right, let Wasp me tell you about Wasp 76b, a planet of extraordinary molten iron rain defying known planetary physics. In actual reality, or just some cosmic simulation that's gone completely off the rails. There's this planet called Wasp 76b, where it literally rains molten iron. And I'm not talking metaphorically here. I mean actual liquid metal falling from the sky like some demented weather system designed by the universe's angriest physicist. This thing sits 640 light years away which sounds impossibly far but is basically next door territory in space terms. It's tidally locked to its star so one side gets permanent daylight while the other side is stuck in eternal darkness. Standard setup, nothing too wild yet. But here's where physics decides to throw a tantrum. The day side hits over 4,300 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not just hot, that's vaporized solid iron hot. Your kitchen oven maxes out around 500 degrees. This planet is running nearly nine times hotter than that. The night side? A cool 2,700 degrees. When scientists call 2,700 degrees cool, you know we're dealing with some serious cosmic insanity. I've been following space discoveries for years, and most of them are pretty incremental stuff. Oh look, another rocky planet. Wow, water vapor detected somewhere distant. But this discovery, this made me put down my coffee and just stare at my screen for like 10 minutes. That temperature difference creates winds that blow at over 11,000 miles per hour. Hurricane winds on Earth maybe hit 200 miles per hour on their absolute worst day. These atmospheric currents could circle our entire planet in two hours. They're not carrying water vapor or dust. They're hauling vaporized metal across hemispheres. On the day side, iron literally evaporates into invisible gas and floats around the atmosphere like steam from your morning coffee. Those psychotic winds grab this iron vapor and transport it over to the night side, where it's just cool enough for the metal to condense back into liquid droplets. Then it rains, molten iron rain. David Ehrenreich from the University of Geneva discovered this absolute madness and said it perfectly. One could say that this planet gets rainy in the evening, except it rains iron. Try explaining that forecast to your local weather team. The methodology behind this discovery is almost as impressive as the discovery itself.